Hello, I'm Andrea from the Creative Dream Incubator, and today I want to talk about about money, about being a uh, self-employed creative person, and talk a little bit about the truth of how how money works for me. It's been three years and three months since I left my last job and have been doing the Creative Dream Incubator as my full-time thing. So I couldn't be happier about that, like to do the work that feels uh, purposeful and meaningful and fulfilling and creative and inspiring. Um, it's just amazing. Like I am in love with, with what I'm doing and with the life that I have created for myself. So money functions really differently than I thought it would though when I left my job. So leaving my job was a slow process. I know I've shared it like, as I was going through that, I, I shared a lot of that on, on my blog. Um, but when I made the decision to leave, I was working with business coaches and I had a, a plan because what I thought I needed financially was to make twice as much money as I had been making at my job in order to feel safe and secure. What I'm noticing is really, really interesting three years later. I'm not making twice as much as I was making. And I don't need as much money. I'm not denying myself things that I really want. But I don't want a lot of things. The more I am happy and fulfilled with how I'm living my life, the less I want to go out and buy stuff. I mean, that just, in hindsight, that just makes a lot of sense. Of course, I just don't need as much money. I wear pajamas most of the time, so I'm just not even interested in buying as many clothes as I used to buy when I had a job to go to. But the big thing, the really, really cool thing that I've noticed about money and me in the last three years, um, that, that idea that I wanted to make twice as much money in order to feel safe and secure. What's happened instead is that I've developed my sense of trust in myself. It's like there are whole new layers and levels of trust that I didn't even know about before. And I've expanded my sense of courage. So I feel that the work that I'm doing is important. Right? I'm helping other people get their lives into alignment with their inner truth. And this is just the most meaningful work to me. And this is important to me. This is how I believe we're going to change the whole world. One person at a time, becoming empowered and aligned with their inner truth and bringing their outer reality into alignment with that. So this is really important to me. And I trust myself to figure out a way to keep it sustainable if something should ever happen. And so I don't worry about money like, like like I did before, like before I thought I'd have to make twice as much so that I'd have a big stockpile of it so that I would feel safe in case something goes wrong. And now instead what I have is this real deep trust that I'll deal with things if they go wrong. I, I also just see everything differently now. I see my own personal happiness as an unfulfillment is a lot more important than having a bunch of money in the bank. Even though, yes, I'm, more, I'm most comfortable with a certain amount of, of money in the bank. So I do make sure to, to keep that there. I've also just deepened my trust in my ability to find new ways to bring money in. I feel more relaxed about marketing and sales. I mean, I really, really trust the work that I'm doing. I see the amazing impact it's having on, on people's lives. And I want to do more of it. So I just wanted to share that, how it's interesting, how things went really differently than how I thought that they would, and how I'm happier than I thought I could be, um, and how my needs for money are smaller. So you know, when, when you're working in a job and you're thinking about how you'd like to be doing something else and you'd like to be um, you know, self-employed, but it feels scary and big and hard, you know, I'm not a fan of the idea of leap and the net will appear. I don't think the net actually appear. Take your time and build a bridge so you don't even need a net, right? Stay stay on, on solid ground. You can build a bridge that leads from where you are to where you want to be. It takes patience, it takes commitment, a deep, deep commitment, and it takes work. But it, when, you're, when you're passionate about what you're doing and when it's in alignment with your creativity and your authenticity and your own soul, 
It doesn't feel like work. Right? It's a joy to create. So sometimes I feel like I shouldn't be happy with less. Like I should um, do something differently in order to have more money because people are saying you're supposed to want more. But for the most part, I'm just really, really appreciating and enjoying what is and just savoring this, the feeling of trusting myself to take care of myself and not needing to have a paycheck coming in from, from somewhere else and feeling like, no, I am a powerful creative being and I can create solutions to whatever problems may come up. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful feeling to have. And to me, that's more important than, than having tons of money. You know, when you learn to get creative with money, when you learn to work on your inner relationship with money, it's always so much richer. It's so much more than just piles of it. It's having the amount that, that you know, enables you to do the things that you want to do without worrying about it. And just living in attunement with your own being. It's the most, the most beautiful thing. And yes, we're doing this as a class in a couple of weeks in the Creative Dream Circle. The Creative with Money class is starting on April 3rd, and it is a really, really beautiful course. It's I'm not, I'm calling it a class, but it's, I mean, it's more of an experience and a, and a, um, a journey into your own inner world and looking at, at your, your relationship with money and creating new ways to connect with money and... Um, creating a, a partnership between you and money so that you can create what you want to create in your world. And often, as I'm finding, as I've done that over the last couple of years, um, it doesn't take as much money as you think. You can be deeply, deeply fulfilled and happy with what you're doing by following your creative dreams.